So you wanna to upgrade to Windows 11, your PC meets all the requirements, you've gone into Windows Update, you've checked for updates, your computer is up to date, you get this message saying this PC can run Windows 11, but specific timing for when you'll be offered it can vary when it gets to you, but you don't wanna wait for Microsoft to push it out, you wanna force it down yourself. In this video, we're gonna see how we can download Windows 11 to our computer before Microsoft sends it out to us. What you wanna do is go over to this website where you can download Windows 11. I'll put a link in the description down below and you'll be greeted with three options here. The first option, which is what we're gonna to use today, is called the Windows 11 Installation Assistant. This allows us to download Windows 11 onto our current computer and upgrade it from Windows 10 to Windows 11 without losing any of our data. The second option is creating a Windows 11 installation media, which is basically making a clean install of Windows 11 for a USB or a DVD, um, so you can plug it in and completely wipe a computer. And the third option is creating a Windows 11 ISO disk. Again, it's creating a USB or a DVD flash drive, um, so you can create a Windows 11 image. We're not gonna worry about the second two options. We're simply gonna go on the Windows 11 installation assistant, and we're gonna hit download. Downloads really quickly and we're gonna go open. Next, we're just gonna go through all of the steps here. And you can see here, we've just started downloading Windows 11. You can let your PC run and um, just let this download. Once it's finished downloading and installing, you're met with this screen here and it's gonna say you're gonna to need to restart your PC to install Windows 11. You can either manually force the restart or it's gonna force it itself within 30 minutes. We're simply gonna select on the option of restart now. You then see this option that says you're about to be signed out. Windows 11 installation assistant will reboot your device to complete the install. Let the computer do its thing and Windows 11 will start installing. What's cool but a very subtle change is that you can actually see the font here is the Windows 11 font as it does the install and not the Windows 10 font. And just like that, Windows 11 is installed on your PC. We're gonna sign in for the first time. Windows 11 is installed on our computer. You can see we have the new taskbar down the bottom, the new start menu. I have opened up a few programs just to make sure that they are working and everything seems to be working perfectly. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.